All right, guys. So welcome back. Subs and paws. John behind the camera here. Caleb in front of the camera. So uh, I just spent the last two hours again today. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna throw it out there real quick. Looking for my FedEx package that FedEx misdelivered. So my first package was the Punisher from Audio Savings that FedEx delivered. That was torn up and all screwed up. But we it got delivered to the right place. Too. That got delivered to me. So this was the second Punisher I bought now. And this time, it was delivered to some other address. I went looking around my place, walking around for two hours, and not able to find my second Punisher I bought. So I have a case open with FedEx. We'll see what happens. I'll keep you guys informed. But today... We're going to open up something that came from Amazon. So this is the... I mean, you guys have obviously heard it before. It's the HCY-12. I don't think we've said it more than enough. So we'll say it again. <laughs> the uh, HCY-12. The WLLDSE. That's the company with the HCY-12. So he already has one. He didn't open it here. He opened it at his house. He was excited to put it in his car. So he did his own, sort of like the first one, he didn't right? even do an unboxing, he just opened it and put it in his car. <laughs> so we're going to do an unboxing on this. We don't need to do any tests because we've got, he needs we got help. plenty of videos of doing tests. Oh, we got to do a test. You, there's two. Two? Now there's two. Yeah, right? Well, yeah, but yeah, out there. That's a new test. Oh, out there in the car? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, so let's bring this out. Oh, yeah, let's bring this out. Don't uh, mind the uh, land's art. Yeah, why don't we move that out of the way? Look how tiny this is. Here, put this on the chair there. It's like an under the desk kind of thing. <laughs> you put it under with your just your uh, your computer system. subwoofer. Yeah. All right. I feel like mine from. Uh, all right. So okay. it comes in this styrofoam, thick styrofoam, styrofoam thingy, and we're gonna oh, careful. flip it up. This thing all weighs right. like 50 pounds. Hold your hand there. Oh, Turn it that way. All right. You got it. Yep. There we go. No foul, no... Oh, oh the bottom's kind of busted up. They did that up, the but... other one, because this is... That's how heavy oh. this sub is. It's like <laughs> the same packaging as the other one. I have half the bottom, bottom it, here. It's so it's so heavy that it breaks the bottom. But that's why they shouldn't put it in styrofoam. No, because this sub is absolutely massive. <laughs> it's floating around. That's what I said. All that's right. why there's so uh, much of this. You want to flip it back over now? Yes. Okay, so that's why not. don't we... Go ahead. Mm. Okay, take your side off. I'll hold this. All right. There you go. Mm. And we can get this out. Go ahead. Okay. Pick up all these pieces that broke off from the packaging, because look at this. This is what happened with mine. Again, so if you didn't know why I didn't do an unboxing, this is why. Probably took me longer. Yeah, he was doing that by himself. I think it was my second install. My first one I did by myself was the HST, and I was I wasn't more excited about that one because of how cheap it was at the time. But both of them have raised a little bit. Right. Woo! Yeah, they said, "Oh, we're not making enough of money. We gotta put the price up a little bit." And they still right, selling them. You can pick that up and move that over. Uh, did you get that packet? All right. Get it. Uh, it's in there, I see it. Where is it? At the bottom. You sure? Oh, yeah. Oh, there it is. There it is, guys. So the packet's not inside the speaker this time. When I installed it in the box, uh, it was in there. It was in, <laughs> in the, the box. box. <laughs> in the enclosure. And I heard it rattling around. It's funny, when we took it out, um, it actually sounded better. All right, so. Um, where's my phone? Can you grab my phone over there? All right, you want to just hold it so we can look inside the speaker? Yeah, of course. All right, so... Oh, there we go. All right, so there's the tinsels. This is something that we never got to do. Well, I don't know why one. we didn't do it. Because I was... We've well, so... Taken I out of the box several times. bought it... Oh, yeah, I know, out of the whole thing. And right. we never... Well, so I, I got this up originally. I don't even think I told you I got it. I think I got it as, like, a surprise. These are 8-gauge terminals. 8-gauge so terminals. absolutely massive. Um, Push terminals. Uh, the tinsel. It's a 200 ounce magnet. 
Yeah, the um, magnet down here is pretty big. The fencing is very nice. Big. Um, everything's, oh my it's god, the, the build quality is there. crazy. Now, no pole vent, but, but it, it has voice heats. coil vent. It barely heats up. Yeah, it does though, stay so, cool. So we just did a video cool. on this yesterday. Um, it just it's it's super nice. Um, I don't know if anyone else thinks it's me, but it reminds me of the Sundown and you actually. This basket looks like exactly the same. Yeah, a little similar. Um, and the magnet's pretty much the same, except it just has their covering. Is on my it. magnet there? It's uh, I'm just it's curious. not gonna. Yeah. I know. If it's one. aluminum or steel. It is, it is aluminum. It's like a tiny magnet. It right? should be right there, right on the end, next to them batteries. No. No? No. Under the PlayStation Vita thing? No? Do you have anything else? No, that's it. Do you have a magnet? Yeah. Aiden, get me a, a magnet, magnet off the refrigerator. So, uh... I think it's, it's... I'm pretty sure... This thing weighs a ton, not just the mag... Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, that's perfect. It shouldn't even... Okay, so here's a little magnet. Now, that should... If it's steel, it should stick to the... Yep, it's aluminum. So, it's aluminum basket. That's why it's like... It'll stick to the heavy. magnet, though. <laughs> <laughs> Here. <laughs> so, the, uh, the tinsel leads are really... They're huge, actually. Uh, for a, a budget speaker, this... Like, for the budget-wise, I've never actually seen that has tinsels like uh the xfl has so they're really huge um the surround That's obviously nice. you can see is pretty beefy and the uh, it has double stitching on the surround to cone and of course the w l l d s e on the the dust cap and the this is a rubber coating for your install so we're gonna get this uh, he's gonna put it I think the box has got to be probably three and a half cubic feet it might be four cubic feet it's a double subwoofer box it's an MTX Terminator box it's an old-school box too so uh, is it Terminator? I think Something so similar like that. And uh, he's going to put both of these, the two HCYs, inside of that single box. And we're going to have that video coming your way soon. So stay tuned for that. We'll be back. Don't go anywhere. Right at the edge of your seat, guys. All right, guys. Welcome back. So it was a pause. So we just got everything rewired. He got one of the Mighty Max uh, Viper. 1200 watt batteries so a lot more power I believe it's 45 AH is it 40 or 45 I think 40 or 40 something like that I don't know. 40 or 45 AH so way more power than that last one he had it was basically a mistake in a, a lying ad <laughs> and uh, we got the tarantula txp1.3500 Everything's wired up now. Uh, he's got his fuse, fuse up front. And the two HCY 12s are in here. Yep. Uh, We're gonna do some rewiring, but for now we can just test it out. On yeah, he's gonna test out the subs. He uh, rewired them to uh, their parallel series. And so they ran together and the speakers themselves are ran in series, but the, the but the two subwoofers are ran in parallel. And we're we're probably gonna rewire them both uh, parallel parallel. Yeah. So because he we're definitely getting a lot more power from the amp, and he's just gonna before it gets to that clip point, he's gonna back it back down. And we might even be able to turn the amp down to, to do that so he'll be comfortable turning it up to whatever volume he's comfortable playing. The battery might even fix that. So you can go ahead and you can play a song or... QuickBooks Self-Employed maximizes potential tax deductions with every mile automatically accounted for.
So the Viper VP 1200. It sounds good too. The link. Yeah. I told you the battery makes a difference. So, you can keep recording it. So the battery I had originally was a Energy RP1200, only 18 AH. And it was with this amp, and we did everything correctly. And the only thing I could think of is that um, just not enough power. Um, it could have also been like wiggling off the battery a little bit because of the things we had. No, that was tight. It was tight. It was tight. Right. Yeah. Either way. Probably I think just it was the power. power. <laughs> I know I could. I'm still gonna listen to it, but just by these, like, just by that and everything. Number one, um, I didn't even have that like lower cutout problem. Number two, way stronger, which is what you said. Yeah. Um, and three, it looks nicer and everything. Yeah, it does look very dope. clean. And um, I found out my zero gauge wire isn't zero, but don't worry <laughs> about that. <laughs> It's all right because I didn't even know about the big three until. So now, he has so. all four gauge wires straight through the car. That's fine though, um, but it sounds a lot stronger and better. And I we're gonna get these subs rewired, and it might even be even better. <laughs> yeah, it'll probably be better. Oh yeah. Um, so yeah, that's my thoughts. All right, we'll be back after we get the subs rewired. Mighty Max Viper, twelve hundred VP twelve hundred. And Soundstream and the two HCYs in the trunk. We'll be back soon, guys. So just so you guys can have an idea of what he has back here. It was definitely stronger with them rewired the other way. So what we did was we had this wired to a half ohm because that's a D2 and a D2. We had it wired one ohm, one ohm, half ohm in parallel. And we rewired uh, parallel to the two subwoofers but series on each subwoofer. So it was one ohm and one ohm. And so it has a two ohm load instead now. So it was a half ohm before to where it's two ohms now. So it's a definitely big, a big difference on the amplifier. So we're gonna go back and rewire them back to a half ohm and it should be fine with the battery he has now. We think that, the, that just the voltage was going low at some points when he was really getting through with some bass tones. So we'll be back with that guys, okay? Stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back. So we got the subs rewired back up. Uh, retune the amp a little bit. Got the batteries installed. Everything's ready to go now. Amplifiers. This is a Seismic Audio SA 1500.1, wired to a half ohm, two HCY 12s.
put down your other seat too. I don't even know. All right. Hey, you want to do your trunk so I can go? Yeah. So we just were in the car. We did a. We did an amp swap. Let me just show you the amp. Amp swap we did. We went from the tarantula. Now he's got the seismic audio SA 1500.1. It's wired to a half ohm. I'll check it next time on the SMD. We'll do another video on it to see what it's actually doing for power. But as you saw in the car, that's about the loudest it's been yet. Alright guys, welcome back. So we have the CHY? No, HCY. DSE HCY12. HCY12. And we got the dyno on right now. It's on live power at the moment. We're gonna do, it's on the Tar Ramps HD3000 right now. We're gonna do the test on the, cause I didn't do a test with the Tar Ramps with this sub. Mm -hmm. It was the NVX before. So we're going to try my regular song first, and then we're going to try the burp tones after that. that on there. How far is that? 214. 214. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go on dyno. You can back it up. Alright. I don't know if you want to turn it up another notch or not. It's up to you. <laughs> is that it? Wow. That's, That's it, moves. It hits hard. It does. Look how, yeah. how much it that It looks is. nasty on the camera. Yeah. <laughs> All day. 1981. What a year that was. Look at that, dude. That will hit all day. I don't even hear anything. Yeah, it sounds good. That'll go that SBL 100% with this one. This thing will all day. Wow. Yeah. 2,485 watts. On this one? Yeah. God. 't up for the air conditioning <laughs> it is cold air it is cold air it is it's not even warm no. at all guys this sub is absolutely amazing if you find it it seems to only be on Amazon but dude if you're looking for an amazing 12 well, can, that's not a million dollars I can shop on her account if I wanted to yeah it's this is just amazing so we're gonna switch over to the burps um, all right. is it on dyno power because this is gonna be uh, I'll, I'll go back around all it right. is on dyno but I'll go back around so I'm gonna turn it down back to where it was because this one can be pretty strong. Um, all right, we gotta add a 16 second ad. Wow. That you can't skip. All right, so I, again, this is the HCY12 WLLDSE. This is like an Amazon speaker right now. I don't think you can really buy it anywhere else yeah. at the moment. So, uh, but th that's what I said about the Hayanka too. It was an Amazon speaker. And I actually bought two of them, the 10 inch and the 12 inch off eBay. Mm -hmm. So at first it was Amazon speaker and. Oh yeah, it was on Amazon. Yeah. I, saw, I actually saw that one. I don't even know, maybe before you did, I was on Amazon and it said recommended and it was brand new. Mm -hmm. Oh no. So. 
All right, we're on dyno power. <laughs> that app was 215 watts. Oh, I can go up one. Do this for a, a TikTok video. Oh, yeah. All right, thirty-one fifty-six there. Nice. You sure that was all the way up? It is all the way up. All right, so we're gonna kill that now. We're gonna get this video out to you guys. So thank you for watching. I appreciate you guys. Uh, I have around 200 subscribers left, guys, before, I think actually less than 200 subscribers left before the giveaway ends. So if you want to get down on my giveaway for an American Base Elite 12, now's the time to get in because once I reach 3,000 subscribers, I'm cutting comments off, which means you can't comment on the video anymore, which means you can't get in on the giveaway. So if you want to get in, you got about a hundred and some change subscribers left. <laughs> we'll see you back real soon, guys. Take care of yourselves and each other. Peace. All right, guys. Welcome back. So we're going to do a couple of different tests. Well, it's the same test. Just uh, we're going to do it a couple of different times to see what the subwoofer takes for power. And I, I'm going to put it on dyno mode just to see where it peaks at because I'm curious where it peaks. I need to get like an ohm tester at the same time to see where the, not the ohms, the frequency is, free, so a frequency tester to see where the frequency is, where it peaks. That's what I'd like to know. If I'm nasty, the thing looks, oh my god. Yeah, I think it's still going to take more power too. How many is that, like four clicks from the bot from the top? Yeah, did. All right, so I'm going to reset this. Somebody said to try this. Okay, so that should work. Right? Okay, try it again. Go up a bump, though. You went up a bump? Yep. Yeah? So if you press okay. the on button, instead yeah. of me cycling back through. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> okay, bro. Oh, it just go resets? It resets the dyno, so the dyno mode, through. so I don't have to go all the way, cycle oh, nice. it all the way through. I was going to say that. Somebody commented on that. Yeah. There she goes. And then somebody else commented that when it, on the camera, when it looks like the subwoofer is not moving, or it's, uh, it caught up to where the, the camera's frame rate is. Yeah. Got the ace, got the homemade AC. Homemade AC here. How much we get for that? <laughs> How much for that? Uh, nine ten. Wow, wow, for a sweep. Nine ten. All right, so we'll reset it again. All right. Are we going? So we try again. Yeah, go one more. I think it's good. It moves a lot last time. Oh my 
Look at that thing. <laughs> it's going like what? An inch or two? Probably about, yeah. Like two inches. At least an inch, probably an inch and a half. Oh, gotta get the AC here. That's gotta be like an yeah, inch and a half. That's Look at that. Nasty. That's crazy. Oh, look at the logo. It's yeah, like that the part. logo's it's like gorgeous. an inch and a half big. It's still cold. Really? Yeah. It is. It's cold. 2,182 no. watts. <laughs> <laughs> Should we try the uh, the other one oh. again? Which one? That's that. I don't smell one. anything. Yeah, it's just that. Um, the other test? Oh, maybe. Yeah, give it a break for a second. It's probably can, just from moving. That's I was going to say, really it's not it even is. hot at all. Oh, never mind. The, the voice coil one, moving. Though. Yeah, from the... the All right, guys, thing. so we'll be right back, okay? Yeah, We're going right. to cycle through, reset everything, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, so welcome back again. Subs and paws with my special guest. Caleb. And oh. Darren underscore YC. Whatever you want to go back. <laughs> I don't really mind. All right, so we're going to do uh, the... The burp test again, and I have it on dyno power, and we're gonna see what see it get. takes. I'm hoping we're gonna get a higher number. I did turn the amp up a smidge. Wow, that's 1887 already, and it's 1 1.6 ohms, so the ohms are lower. Nice. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't even know if it's. No. -uh. I don't even want to say. <laughs> Hold on, I'll see. I'll on. Let, it go. Let the test go. It's no. -uh. There's no way the number's gonna get higher. <laughs> what is it? 20k? There's no way. <laughs> no. -uh. No. -uh. All right. Um. Let's see what this number is. <laughs> Twelve thousand six hundred and ninety-five. <laughs> no way, yo! We got oh thirteen thousand. Wow, that's crazy. That's insane. Out of a three thousand watt amp, guys, we just got. The... Listen, I see a comment on someone's video saying I laughed like a girl. <laughs> Listen, it's all right, bro. This hey, if you this know what? When you get excited, great. it's just I'm very excited because that's. This sub, and clearly I've been seeing, after seeing this said Peak, clearly 500 other brands now say Peak instead of Max. Um, it's 3,600. What the was highest it? highest it said. 36? It was 1,200 RMS, 24 Max, and then 3,600. Well, it just took like four times that. <laughs> 12,000, what, 13,000 watts that just took with no problemo. I looked at the thing and I it's was watching it. It's not even hot. There's no smell. I could have kept going. Wow. And We're I probably just not gonna it up get higher a little than bit. that either. No, that was crazy. That's actually insane. That was nuts. You want to do one I'm more? Try to take a picture before it before it goes away. Oh wait, hold on. I'm gonna shut the Are you recording. Yeah. There we go. All right. All right. So we're back again. That was nuts. That was crazy. Absolutely nuts. So we're gonna try same thing. Again. Same thing. Same volume. Uh, seems like it's like luck, but we'll see if we get higher, lower. I guess we'll see. All right. I have it on live right now, and it was going up to twenty three thousand, almost yeah. three thousand watts on live power. So, and guys, this sub is strong. There's almost eighteen hundred. Thirty two is on dyno. Yep. I want to do a short after this. Literally 
Whoa, that last bump bumped it up to 83.26. 83? Yeah. <laughs> that last bump. All right, guys. So clearly, wow. if you want to um, pull power and see and have your friends go, that's crazy, man. How'd you pull that? Yeah. You tell them it took it for five seconds. No, I'm kidding. That's well, it's a split the second. Deep base test number two. All right, so we're gonna cut the video now. We're gonna get this out to you guys. Thanks for watching. So you I'm gonna make a short of this. We'll get that out and take care of yourselves and each other. We'll be back. You know that. Uh, the giveaway's ending soon, so make sure you guys get in on that if you want. American Base Elite 12. And peace.